All right, well, look at this. It's all put together. You saw it start already. We haven't really run it hard. Um, we did notice that the radiator wasn't sealing very well. So to play it safe, we bought a new radiator cap and we won't really take it for a ride um, until that's good. I did take it around the block, so I know that the gears shift and man, as soon as I hit the power, front end wanted to come up on me. I'll do a GoPro shot when we're all ready and buttoned up. We also noticed that the silencer, if you can see that, it's been welded. So it looks like the previous owner had it repaired, but it wasn't done correctly because I can't get it to line up with the bracket. Um, yeah, I've, I've messed with it so many different ways. I know it's, it's all bolted up right now, so it doesn't really want to go right now. And, and believe me, it doesn't want to go anyway so we just ordered a fmf power core 2 silencer to go with the the gold series pipe um but yeah we we, we gave her all new fluids some access mtl for the uh the transmission um some new brake fluid um put in some Maxis, or sorry, Maxim, Maxima. Is it Maxima? Uh, no, not too strict oil coolant. So yeah, we, uh, it's it's pretty good. Oh, um, and then off camera, we, we added some ODI EMIG grips. Man, these, these might be my new favorite grips. They just feel so nice. And this little pro taper pad. So yeah, I think cosmetically we might do some updates, but powertrain wise, she runs like a beast. This thing is is runs like a top. You saw my excitement uh, when we started it. Um, Mason, anything you want to say about your bike? It runs great. It runs great. What's your favorite part about it? Uh, the grips. Like, the know, grips. The hydraulic clutch. Hydraulic clutch. And, uh, new clutch levers. New clutch levers. Yeah, so Mason, my oldest, he's 10. This is the bike we just built. And in an upcoming series, you will see my younger son and this bike that we just bought. What kind of bike is this? KX65, mostly stock, uh, runs great also. Um, there are a few updates that we're going to do. He already laid the bike down, two hours of having it, broke the brake lever. And they're just, you know, this is a, a goofy little aftermarket perch and lever. So we'll, we'll go ahead and swap those out for some OEM units. Probably use the same levers that we used on the KTM. Um, but yeah, the bike runs great. Oh, we also ordered a new silencer at the same time. So this one will have a pro circuit silencer. It's got the factory pipe. Uh, we won't do anything with that yet. He'll probably lay it down again and dent it. So then at that point, we'll replace it. All right, so here we are 
Um, I was hoping to get you guys some good footage of this bike running and my son riding it, my, my youngest son riding it. This bike already blew up. So it's likely because my son, who's eight, uh, isn't great at understanding the concept of shifting. So we were on a 30 minute trail ride and it wasn't until the end I realized I don't know if he's actually getting out of first gear because it, it was kind of a, a slow paced trail and I was behind him and I saw the rear wheel just completely lock up and the bike just stall. Um, so I'm going to tear it apart. I'm expecting the top end to be destroyed. Hopefully the cylinder is still all on good. So all we need is a ring and a piston, but we'll see how it is. So we're going to go ahead and tear this bike apart and do, I guess do a rebuild of the rebuild. <clears throat> all right, so we have most of the bike disassembled. Uh, we just have the head to take off and also possibly the cylinder. Uh, let's see what the damage looks like. pessimistic about this one. I have a feeling we're going to have to buy another cylinder and piston set. Well, it doesn't look to be that bad. Let's see. So the piston just happens to be a top dead center. All of these o-rings are intact. And still good, it looks like. Pry this off. Oh, yeah. There's some scoring there for sure. It doesn't look too bad, though. Can we get on the other side? See? Or do you want to take the camera? Here, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take the head off. All right. Now back to the cylinder. Let's pull this guy off and let's see what the damage looks like. There's the piston. Oh yeah. yeah. The ring is toast. Piston is toast. Cylinder, I mean, it looks like we could rehone it. Let's take a look at this. like seized on there so can you see the damage yeah. Mace? yeah so something something caused this How does it get scratched the don't know but the rotating assembly seems good still Minimal side to side play, no up and down play. So it looks like we just need to replace the piston. Is the cylinder fine? Um, I'm gonna bet it's fine. I think the cylinder is just fine. If you get a good close up, um, can you look here? The light. There's definitely some slight 
light scoring. I'm just going to try to hone it out. We're going to roll the dice and just run another piston because this is basically has an hour on it and got destroyed. Maybe we didn't do the right heat cycles or didn't do that properly, but I think it's partially because it ran in first gear for a 30 minute trail ride. So I'm gonna go ahead and order some pistons online and we're going to rebuild this rebuild. So we'll do a take two and yeah, we'll go from there. I'm probably gonna end up getting an aftermarket piston though because they don't sell the OEM piston by itself. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and stop the video for now. If you like this content, go ahead and uh, click the like button. Uh, comment below on what you think we should do. Uh, even though I think I f have my mind made up, um, and subscribe to keep uh, to keep up with what we're doing here. Uh, if you can see over here, I also picked up a 250, a YZ 250 and we'll be rebuilding this all